Hi Stampers, it's Becky Roberts with Inking Idaho. Today we're going to go through assembling one of the everyday purse dies so that I can show you how to do it. This is the one that I did originally that I showed you the video on all of the parts and explained it all to you and now today we are going to assemble it. So we're using the die and the stamp set and we're going to do two versions today. We're going to do just the basic assembly of the basic purse and then we're going to do a stepped up one that has all the bells and whistles on it. So the first thing you need to do is to take the purse body and you need to cut two of these. So you need two of those, you need two of the handles, and you need two of this little topper piece that closes the purse on the top. And so that's what we have right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside so that we can start our assembly process. So the first thing you do is just take your bone folder or something that you have um, to make this process a little bit easier so you don't get a paper cut and curl your handles. And then I straighten out the bottom just a little bit. And then we're going to attach it to these toppers. So we're gonna do this part first and let it dry for just a second so that we can work on our purse body. I'll put a little bit of glue right here at the very bottom. And then on the back side of this, I'm gonna put one right here at this end. Not too close to the end, but pretty close. And then I just hold on to it with a clothespin, put the other one on here, and let that dry with the clothespin. And then you turn them over, you can just see that you have them both even so that they're about the same on both sides. All right, I'm gonna leave that to dry. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other one. If you have a minute, you can hold them. You don't have to have uh, clothespins by any means, but you know, it makes it life easier this one on here do the exact same thing over here and it's kind of stiff because the paper's strong so it does bow it just a little bit but it straightens right out with some glue so don't worry about a thing all right so we have those two ready and we're going to set those aside now this is all scored for you so all you have to do is fold on all the score lines it has all of that in the die already so it makes it nice and easy and then we'll just fold up the little sides, which is the piece that we're going to glue and set him aside. We'll do the exact same thing to this one. Now this is where you would stamp it first if you wanted to stamp on it or if you wanted to emboss it through the embossing folder or something like that. So you want to decorate it before you assemble it. Make sure everything's nice and crisp. And then just take whatever adhesive you're using. I'm just using liquid glue today. I find that it just adheres pretty darn quick and easy. So we're gonna put these two pieces together. And then before you really, really press it down, fold it up just to make sure that everything folds and so that you haven't trapped anything where it doesn't belong. Once you make sure that it's fine, go ahead and press it down. And we have the body of our purse ready to go. All right, so now we're just gonna put these on here, one on each side. But I'm gonna show you a fun little thing before we go any further. I have cut two little tiny strips of the turquoise cardstock and four, if I don't drop them, of the little tiny buttons. These are in the die set, it's that little button right there. And I'm gonna make a fun little clasp on mine. And I'm going to hang on to it with some tweezers. I'm gonna put it right on the top of this. And I'll show you what this does in just a second. And right there. And then flip it over. And I'm going to sandwich these two on the other side. So you do wanna make sure those are lined up. There we go. All right, so now we are going to put these slightly overlapping, like a little button um, closure on a clasp for the purse top. So it'll be looking like that. And we're gonna put it just behind this one right here. I don't know for sure where I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna try to center one on this side. Might need it over a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn this one over so I can match it up. 
and put that one right about here. Now I'm just guessing, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, you could get really serious and measure this if you want to, but you know, who has time for that? And then I'm gonna put these together a little bit just to make sure that they're centered and slightly overlapping. It's really easy. It's not that, it doesn't have to be that particular unless it falls off, that's never good. All right, so I'm gonna take these off now. I'm gonna really line it up. Probably would have been easier just to do that the first time. Okay, so now you get the idea. Okay, and then we will put these on. Oh, the reason that I left these so long is so that I could actually hang on to them. Now, once I have them on and they're glued, I'm gonna cut the tail off. We don't need that. Okay, now we glue. So just put a little liquid glue. You could use score tape, you could use whatever kind of adhesive you want. Wow, I cannot hang on to anything today. And just put this on here. Give it just a minute to adhere. And do the exact same thing on this side. Okay. And now we just put it together, put it together, make sure it all looks good. Looks good. And we're just gonna put a little bit of adhesive right here on these flaps. And just hold it up straight and close your purse. You do need to have about 12 fingers to do this, but once you do one, you'll get it. There we go. And then I just kind of hold my purse closed and give it just a minute to set up. That's why I do like the liquid glue because it is pretty darn quick. It's a little unhygienic, but I am gonna lick the glue off of this. No one will know. Okay, so that is your basic purse construction. That's all it takes to put one together. Now, if we wanna step it up just a little bit, we take the stamp set and we stamp the, the tag, a little something for the birthday girl. We cut it out with the coordinating die. We use this die right here, which is this strip, and we just put it through the hole. And I'm gonna glue these two ends together. And I'm gonna make it look like it's just an extension of the strap on this purse. put it on this side and I'm just going to put it right there so that it looks like it's just an extension of the strap and then basically we have the cutest little purse with tag on it now at this point you could put a little bit of velcro in it on this particular one I have two little velcro self-adhesive circles that I've put on there and I've added jewels to the toppers that I put on here. So you could do that, or you could just leave it open and put tissue paper in it and your gift, and that could be just your basic little gift packaging right there. So any way you wanted to finish that off, you could. That's just the basic purse assembly. Next, we're gonna do the stepped up version. We have a lot of the same parts and we have a lot of new parts now. So I'm gonna do a couple of things ahead of time because they need to dry a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to assemble the tassel first. So this is the tassel piece, which is this die piece right here. You can create fringe, layers of fringe, or you can create a tassel, whatever you wanna do. And then you need one of the strips, the little strips like we did the tag last time. I have already folded this in half and glued it so that it can be drying a little bit. And now I'm going to put some glue on both sides of this and I'm gonna put it inside the tassel. So the tassel, as you can see, has all the little cut fringe areas and then it has an area right here where it's solid. So I'm just gonna start where it's solid 
and I'm gonna glue it on there and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here to get us started as we roll it together. Then you're gonna take a pair of tweezers and you're gonna hang on to this. It's just a little bit slippery because I'm trying to hurry so that you know I can show you. And you're just gonna roll this up and you're gonna roll it right over top of that tassel um, strap. Don't worry about it because we can straighten it out in a minute. And then add a little bit more glue roll it up and then take your tweezers out kind of fill it in push it in a little bit if it's come out squeeze it nice and tight and then put it in a clothespin and let it dry so there's your little tassel isn't that fun all right so we're gonna let that dry for a minute and set it aside and we're going to go ahead and assemble the, the buckles on this one so this purse that we just made just had the little toppers on it with the little clasp well this one we're going to put straps on it so that it looks a little bit more stepped up fancy so i wanted to have silver jump rings but i wanted to have my leather be the same color as the detail on my purse so what we're going to do is Put some adhesive on the silver itself and then put the strap on it. Right up to the top. So this is how your strap will attach to your purse like this. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna cover it up with these little leather we call them leather, even though we know they're paper. They're actually, you know, fancy leather we've paid lots of money for. I'm going to put some glue right here. And then just put these with the little stitch to detail on the outside. Glue those on. And then you have your fancy little thing, but a silver jump ring. So that's how you get that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this side. Oh, how dare you slide. All right, there we go, back in business. Put this on here. All right, so we need to assemble two of those. All right, now we're gonna let those handles dry and we're gonna work on another part that needs a few minutes to dry. So I have cut out this little silver heart. That is this die piece right here. And I'm just going to poke out all of the pieces that are in it. So it looks like this. Well, and then I'm going to take some adhesive and just put a tiny bit on the back of this. And I'm going to adhere it to a black tag that I cut out with this tag die. So we're going to make another little fun embellishment for the front of this purse. Now, I'm going to take that heart out of a separate one, and I'm going to put a half of a little foam square on the back of it. And then I'm going to put it inside of this so I have a different color. Isn't that a cute little purse embellishment? Okay, so now we have that and we have our tassel ready to go. So we're going to move this stuff aside and we're going to go ahead and assemble our purse. Now, in your die set, mine just got a little tossed, you have this piece right here. And what that does is that makes a little closure piece for the top of it. So I have already cut that little tiny slit right here in the front of my purse. And what it does is it catches on the slit in this one so that it acts as a closure for our purse. So you wanna make sure you do that before you assemble your handles. Otherwise, when you run it through your die cut machine, you'll squish your handles and that's not pretty. Okay, so now we are going to put our handles right on the front of this, just like so. So we're going to get some glue ready. 
and we're going to put it on all the parts here and I'm just going to do one at a time because I'm probably not that confident on camera. I'm going to hold it, put this one right here, and hold it. And then just make sure everything is straight. And then do the back side as well. Put some glue on both of these. I could have done a lot better job gluing these on top of each other. I can see my color showing through on the back. Oh well. Okay, little tassel, you have to dry on your own now. And make sure these are down. Oops. Okay, easy peasy. All right, so now we have one little detail to do before we are ready to assemble this, and that is to add all of the really cool corners to it, like it has fancy leather corners. So these are a right and a left. And you have a right and a left die too, so you don't have to cut them, um, have one be backwards. How many times have you had to do that? Clever, clever. Okay, this side. I would probably take a little bit more time to actually glue them well if I'm gonna give this to somebody, but you know, for the sake of the camera, you guys know how to glue. You're all experts. All right, we have our corners on there. Now we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and assemble our purse. Same thing as we did before. We're gonna score, uh, fold on all the score lines. And then it doesn't matter which one you put on top or the bottom, just get them glued together. And again, before you really, really, really glue, fold everything up just to make sure that it fits and that you haven't accidentally overlapped anything. And then you can really push it down. It's pretty easy to see though. The score lines are very easy to see, so it's not that hard. Right, then a little bit of glue on these flaps. Put them straight up. Put the first side up. Then this side. And just slightly squeeze it for a minute. give it a chance to adhere. Take all of these off. I would probably give them a few more minutes to dry. Let it sit there. Give it a good chance to dry. All right, the next thing we're going to do is put this on and I'm going to give it a little whip with my bone folder. Okay, you get more glue. As I said, I probably would have been a little more generous with my glue doing it by myself, but. And you get put back in a timeout. Okay, I have found that the easiest way to put this on is to actually clasp it from the front first. And then I just kind of fold it over onto the back. And I like it open just a little bit. I like you to be able to see it, but if you want to, you can close it all the way. It'll close, you can fold it if you want to, no big deal. Or you can leave it open quite a bit more if you have a gift that you're putting in there that maybe is a little bit wider or something like that. 
you can make it whatever you want it to be. Now your basic purse is done. When this dries and you hold on to it, you can actually pull down on it and open it and it does open. It works as a functioning clasp. So that part's way cool. Okay, now we are gonna put together our little tassel and our little embellishment on here. Now I'm actually gonna use a real jump ring from the jewelry department and this is strictly personal preference. I just like the way it kind of holds on here and dangles. So that's how I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna use the black tassel that I made earlier that has already had time to dry. And I'm gonna punch out the hole from the little tag and put this right on here so that we have both of them that just kind of hang right there. And it gives a little movement to it and I just think that's kind of cute. And I'm gonna slide it right underneath the um, jump ring right here that we did not glue down. We left that part, I don't think I mentioned that, but I left that part without glue so that we could get this on here. And then just close the jump ring. So now you have your little tassel and your little embellishment. So you have your stepped up version that has all the little hardware and the bells and whistles on it. You have your regular plain purse. It's just fun, guys. It's so much fun. And I didn't mention it in this one, but if you want to make it into a card, all you have to do is fold your card stock in half like you would for a regular card. This has a tiny magnet closure on it. And when you put it in the die, Put your fold line right above this score line right here, and it will not cut. So then by the time you put your handles on it, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half, and it perfectly fits in an envelope. So if you just want to do a gift card closure, do a regular card, whatever, you can do it that way as well. So you can do it as a card, a stepped up version, or a basic version. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.